Ah, the power of the sun. We're gonna go over a few really good tips for you to understand. Remember, the sun is everything. Okay, yes it is. It gives us sunlight. It gives us our food. It makes us our air and gives us our colors. And of course, it sanitizes our pillows. You can wash your clothes okay, by putting your clothes in the sun. Okay, I do this every day when the sun's out to be able to sanitize my pillows. Okay, so of course, right here, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna sanitize myself. Okay, so learn the terrain modification protocols, okay, that have to do with cleaning your skin, have to do with the sun, okay, how to absorb the sun, but then again, the protocols before you actually lay out on the sun, okay? Because the sun can be dangerous if you haven't wiped off all the garbage off your skin, okay? And then become what you call reconductive to the sun with the minerals, okay? These are tomato plants and these are only two weeks old, okay? So I'm gonna show you my garden just real quick because look, with the right minerals, okay? Again, we got Russians in the house, Russian kale, okay? Pineapples, if you've got the right minerals, then plants don't just grow, they thrive. And the same with the human body. Okay, look at the color of this purple kale. Wow, and I just eat off, just take off a leaf at a time, about five minutes before I'm gonna eat, okay? And you can see this part of my garden, I just went ahead and planted, okay? These are radishes here, and those are probably about six inches long, okay? And these are daikons, you can see them right here. and. I'll pull one up right here, but look at that, okay? Look at broccoli, and you eat the leaves too, okay? Broccoli, look at that beautiful broccoli, okay? If the plants, okay, have good minerals, okay, what do you think happens? Look at Dino kale, more Russian kale, bell peppers, okay? Hot chilies. So the idea, to everything in life, it needs sun. You just have to figure out how to make yourself and the plants conductive to the sun. I just went ahead and put on magnesium sulfate, okay, which is very special, magnesium and sulfate, and that's just Epsom salts. Uh, and I also put in chicken manure, and I also put in what's called K-mag, calcium, okay, or excuse me, potassium, and magnesium again. And this makes your plants super, super, super flourish. Follow our intelligent gardening that we have, and you can be an intelligent gardener. I tried gardens before, but they never, ever grew. It was because I wasn't fixing the soil, repairing the soil. It's very important. Just like if you want to get healthy, you have to repair the soil, okay, in your belly. So we share with you how to do that, how I did it, okay, how to fix your belly, okay, the gut flora that live inside. How to fix, okay, your soil, which is of course in your intestinal tract, by removing, just like I do in this garden, I remove the parasites. Look, this little bit of grass right here, this is crabgrass, that's a parasite. And I get rid of it, because if not, it sucks all the nutrients from my plants, okay? These are Okinawa purple potatoes right here. And this is tobacco right here that just grew on its own. Okay, you have to be able to, to understand. Remember, to have a good garden, <laughs> you have to go ahead and actually get the parasites out of your garden and then flourish the garden back with the correct minerals, okay? The collect, correct bacteria. And one last time here, look at this. This is arugula. And I planted these plants here, okay? They're, they were dying. I got them at Home Depot for, for nothing. <laughs> they like 25 cents, I just gave them to me. But I put the right minerals in, and this is arugula right here, okay? And this is live food, okay? Mmm, mmm, spicy. Look, papayas. And here's some of the chicken manure that I threw last night with some K-Mag and some Magnesium sulfate, so I have to put water on that. I miss those ones there. Okay, but these plants right now are lacking. You can see the, the leaves are small. So once I feed them again, they'll just take off again. Okay, this is mamake tea. These are all 
<laughs> Look at just rogue, okay, good plants that live in your soil. Rogue, okay, follow our how to make yourself food in just planters. Okay, again, it's all easily done. Look, arugula, let it flower. Okay, basil, let it flower so you get the seeds. Look, look at all the seeds right here. Okay, <laughs> those are all seeds. One seed will make that plant. Okay, we've did several rethinking realities. Okay, and this is just rethinking reality too. I'm gonna keep this video short, but I just want you to get the concept. The concept is that your belly, okay, okay, your garden, your mouth to your anus, remember, is about 40 feet, let's just say, and that's your garden, okay? That's where you break down the foods that you eat and you can absorb them into your body, okay, if your body's healthy, okay? Most people's intestinal tracts are clogged. Most people's gardens will not support life to flourish. Okay, will not support. Let me just pull one of these guys out right here so you can see, look at those. <laughs> okay, and you eat the leaves. Okay, this is a red radish. But then again, you eat them as you go. You don't just pull them out and you eat the whole thing. You could go ahead and make soups with this. You could make juices with this. This is live food, okay? And in 10 minutes, it's gonna lose most of its energy. So you wanna try to eat most of your food if you can, as quick as you can out of your garden. Okay, so put those guys down there but look at that that's called beautiful and that's only maybe maybe seven weeks old that's it okay and of course most people just eat the radish but that's not it you want to eat the leaves too okay so that's a daikon radish and this is a red radish okay and this is arugula again so it's so easy to get a healthy garden okay just follow the protocols Okay, and it's also easy to get a healthy garden here because most people, remember, are very sick, very sick. And, and how do you know if you're sick? You got intestinal problems, you got stiffness, you've got, I don't know, mental confusion, okay, body fat, extended belly, okay, watch our videos on human parasites, categories one through five. Really smart for you to go ahead and understand what you're up against. Remember, where do they live? What do they eat? And how to remove them nicely. And sometimes you may have to kill them, as I've said before. So think of this garden again, okay, is exactly the same way as your garden here. And if your garden has the right minerals, okay, it has the right nutrients, okay, and it gets the right sun and gets distilled water because that's what those clouds give distilled water condensed water and this is why these plants grow so good okay the water from the sky also remember also has electrical charge to it okay that's why it comes down and when it comes down it does give a small amount of energy to the plants so it's the same thing with your body you have to put in oxygen in your body and it's not easy to do okay you have to follow our Chi, breathing, exercising, okay, breathing through the nose. We just did a really nice uh, exercise video. Uh, it's simple quantum, okay, exercise in my backyard, in my backyard gym. So you don't need to really, you know, spend a lot of time, but there are certain ways I found out, okay, to be able to make things a little easier, a little more economic and a little more efficient. So, you know, living, of course, in a place that's very dark is not so good for you, okay? Because you don't get your D3. How do you think these plants can go ahead and grow, okay? If there's not sun and there's not the right water and there's not the right minerals, okay? And of course, you have to take out the parasites. And the parasites, again, is this grass. Look, it's beautiful grass on the outside of this fence and I use it as, of course, a playground. But if I let this grass grow, you can see how the grass against the fence over there will grow 10 feet. And that's the same grass. And if it comes in my garden, like this plant here, and this may be something worthwhile to eat, that's dandelion, so I'm gonna leave it there. But this stuff right here, this is just pure rat. And this is called cane grass. And what you do is I have a special tool and you get rid of it. I do all this by hand. Okay, you can see I fed the plants last night. It's the same thing when you eat your food. You have to feed your body, guys, <laughs> but with the right things. And you have to hydrate it. And remember, most of the foods you're buying at the store, they only have NPK in them, nitrogen, phosphorus, and, 
and potassium. That's it, NPK, three minerals. There's about 90 trace minerals. So this is why I add minerals, okay, trace minerals to my garden. And I also add the correct bacteria back to the garden is because the bacteria, of course, needs, needs to be regrown. Just like the bacteria, the good bacteria in your gut belly needs to be regrown. So you could become healthy, wealthy, happy, and wise. So use the sun, okay, as it's intended to use. What <laughs> sunglasses? Why are you taking off sunglasses? Why? Because you want to get some sun into your eyes. Do you think people a hundred years ago had sunglasses? Come on. Okay, it's just a fad. And once you use them for a little while, you know what you get? You get black mold inside your brain. Okay, you're, you're living in the dark. You live in your office. Okay, you're living in unnatural, okay, air that you breathe if you live in an office. You're living in unnatural, uh, what you'd call hearing. Watch our RF frequencies video. Dr. Robert Kassar, RF frequencies. You want to hear what it sounds like with an acoustometer? Again, watch our rethinking realities. And what you want to do is, Remember, don't believe me. Just wanting to show you some different concepts, disciplines, and understandings. And what do you do? You navigate. Okay? Navigate. You don't complain. You navigate. Remember, and it is up to you to get healthy, wealthy, happy, and wise. And it is up to you to get sick, slow, tired, and, well, <laughs> feel bewildered enough to go to the doctor or the hospital to get on their program of symptom management versus your own curative care. Okay, remember, no one does my garden, I don't let them. Why? It's because it's an honor, okay, an honor. Remember, and I was super toxic before, super toxic. I had lead poisoning. Okay, I've gone through a lot, let me tell you. <laughs> and just doing these videos is a lot of, a lot of stressful, stressful, uh, I guess you'd call uh, good. Why? It's because it, I'm getting stressed, but then again, I'm actually doing good at the same time. So I'm not just getting stressed and it's, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so again, guys, follow the terrain modification protocols, practices, and principles. We'll see you at eartheracademy.com. Sign up for our newsletter and we have not lots of, of good free videos, okay, that are private for you just to be able to be inspired, inspired, in spirit, inspired, okay, by others who are inspired okay, to tell you their passion. And that's all it is. I'm just talking from my heart, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, so don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> uh, look at, look at the pineapple, okay, before we leave. This is a beautiful, beautiful understanding of nature. Wow, look at that thing, okay? And I just put this in about four months ago, and all I did was cut off uh, this top of, off of another pineapple. You cut the top off right here, and then once it matures, you don't throw the top off. This is the top, and it makes another one, okay? And, of course, this stays there, and it just keeps on making more. So I'll, I love pineapples, and there's about 200 pineapples that I put in my backyard, okay? So if you can, remember, the best thing in life, the miracle of life, is to be able to go ahead and see that you are in charge of the miracle. Yes, you are. You're in charge of the air you breathe. You're in charge of the water you drink. You're in charge of what you see, feel, hear, and touch. And remember... It's, you are what you eat, think, say, do, or don't do. <laughs> and when you excrete, okay, all the things that aren't you, then what do you think happens to you? You become, okay, more balanced. Remember, you are what you eat, and you are not what you excrete. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay, so remember, these are just concepts. And once you understand the concepts, then of course, remember, this journey's got to be fun. Why? It's because rebuilding a house is fun. Okay, rebuilding your body is fun. Rebuilding your mind is fun. Rebuilding everything, okay, to a, you can call, I don't know, better way. It is a nice thing, okay? It's a purpose in life. So, remember, purpose can be many things. Raising your children, okay? <laughs> That's a good purpose. To... Just working. It is purpose, but does it serve you? Okay, or having relationships, maybe because you're lonely and maybe you need to find yourself. Okay, which of course is the best companion you can have <laughs> is yourself. Okay, so it's taken a long time for me to be able to, really I'm almost 60, so it's taken a long time for me to sort of see what is, I don't know, what I couldn't see maybe before is only because maybe I wasn't ready for it. 
But then again, I don't think anybody is. Okay. Ah, the wind, the air. Okay. The sun. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so bright. I can't even look at it. Gives us life. And if you give it the minerals and you give it the right care, love, just like your body, then you thrive. You don't just stay alive. You thrive. Because I see most people today, they're suffering. Okay. So guys, change it up. Well, again, we'll see you at Earther Academy and get your feet in the, in the dirt. Okay. Get your, yourself out in nature. Okay. Watch the videos that we put on YouTube, Earther Academy, but those are simple videos. Okay. Can't say much there, but our private channel member has all the deeper layers that I've learned. And of course, it's always a work in progress and no one's telling you what to do or what not to do. But then again, there's a lot of things that you may want to think about that make sense if you want to change it up. Okay. So that's it guys. Aloha. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful day and real clouds too. Look at them. <laughs> okay. That's it. Aloha. <laughs>